Hey guys, how's it going? So I've been working on some YouTube stuff lately and <clears throat> I need some good thumbnails, right? With like the recent AI stuff and like creating images is like super easy. I thought I would figure out how to like train, like fine tune a stable diffusion model and like kind of essentially have it train on my face so I could create like a thumbnail in like any style, any like any motion, any any like kind of thing that I imagine that fits my video. I was thinking about doing that today and I wanted to kind of just film some bits of it. There's an open source library called Koya SS, a GUI slash a tool for training. There's something called Dream Booth, there's something called LoRa, um, textual inversion, and these, from my understanding, they're all just kind of different ways of fine tuning your models. But yeah, so I already cloned this here and then got it set up, uh, essentially right here. The issue with this um, is that the issue that I, I'm running into right now is the Mac OS is not really great. Just bugs that you run into. And the one that I run into right now is this one. Um, like nothing works. None of the buttons work. Well, except for that. So what I'm planning to do for now is just hack hack parts of the code base so I could get my training working for my specific like needs. I think I got it working. I think I got it working. Oh. And there. All right, I think I finally got it working. It took like four hours or so, but I think it's working. I, I, <laughs> we'll see, it's like saying it's caching. From what I can tell, I think it takes like a few hours for this stuff to run. And I don't know if all my settings is perfect, but tomorrow I'll probably take some pictures, like high, high resolution pictures of myself and then try to train like an actual model of myself. One thing I noticed, <laughs> one thing I noticed about doing this is like, I was moving my mouse and it was like jittering. And then like, <laughs> I was watching a YouTube video while I was doing this, but it was kind of like jittering. So I'm making a bunch of training images. So I need at least 10. So I'm like <laughs> going back and forth in my closet and taking high quality pictures. I kind of just gave up on doing this on an M1. It just, the Koya setup, it's just, it's just not worth it to do it on the M1. I got like all of the like inputs hacked into it. I had to like go into the code base and make a bunch of hacks, but I just kept running into like these like small errors. I don't know, it was just like, it was too different than what I was following, the tutorial that I was following. So in that same tutorial, there you could also use a run pod, which is just like renting CPU, uh, renting GPUs online. So I'm kind of doing that right now. I finally got the training started, and you can see in the logs, it's um, it's finally starting. I ran into a bunch of errors here too. Here's the lower training. I got my images. I don't look like Jackie Chan, but that's the only Asian person I know that looks, I guess, as most similar to me that I know, like a celebrity that I know that maybe Stable Diffusion knows. I mean, if you guys know any other celebrities that I may look like, let me know. But yeah, I know my dad definitely looks like Jackie Chan. Um, in a like, young version of Jackie Chan, he def they definitely look alike. So that, <laughs> that's why I put it there. But I, I don't look like Jackie Chan at all. But hopefully this works. I'm just monitoring this training. Ah, ran into a bug. That's annoying. Why? What is this bug? So it looks like I needed to add this line from this open issue. I, I don't really know if this actually, <laughs> it's still open, so. But it's the same error that I'm getting. So let's go ahead and try it again, I guess. Uh, is it working? Okay, I think, I think it's working. Yes, maybe? Yeah, yeah, okay, that's caching the latents. So after this step, once this is done, it'll actually work, I think. Oh, wow, this is so annoying. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I need a tail log. I'm so close, I'm, I'm like, so if the lower training and these training things are 
like works and it's kind of interesting and I want to do more training I think I might invest in like a gaming PC with like a 48 4090 whatever the latest graphics card is like the just top of the line just get at it because uh, I need I need like a solid training thing and I love I love just using Macs but the GPUs are like where it's at like to be honest but I think I finally got it working I, I hope it works there you go, here's the epochs. So I have 10 epochs. Oh, 4,400 steps. Okay, let's see how long this takes. Cause I, <laughs> on my Mac when I was doing this, <laughs> this was going up like one step by like every 10 minutes, maybe. But yeah, it's way faster. So this will be done before I uh, leave today. All right, it's gonna be a while, but <laughs> The nice, okay, so as much as I shit on like running stuff on the cloud, um, I'm about to leave. I want to go out, but I can monitor everything on my phone. But at least I can tell from the phone when it last updated. So all I need to do is just like look at this and then check when it last updated. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go out. It's at 9%. Um, hopefully by the end of this video I can show some like images of me and like some funny a trained Laura of me uh, in some like funny situations so here we go so I finally made some images I, I generated a bunch of images and it took a long time to kind of go through the process of like doing prompt templating uh, um, learning about prompts and like I did a bunch of research on like different Lauras that I could combine with my face Laura to like kind of create this looks. So this initial like first, so the one that you see first, what would I say this is? This is just like photograph look. So I tried to just generate some that just look like me in some setting. So this is like uh, just my Laura with uh, wearing a suit or something. Um, one thing I noticed is that like, because I trained off of Jackie Chan as like a main prompt, um, my general like face looked a lot older than I really am. Um, I don't think I am that old, <laughs> uh, but yeah, for sure it looked a lot older. So I had to like append young as like a keyword for the prompt. So, and then I started making some like steampunk, like futuristic ones. Uh, this one <laughs> I thought was funny. A continuation of that. <laughs> I kept sending these to my wife and <laughs> she thought it was so funny. But yeah, this is this one's really cool. I was trying to test if I could wear get the uh, get the model to put like a helmet on me. It actually was really hard to do that. I probably need to like find a Laura that I can combine that that Laura is specifically trained on like putting on helmets or some kind of futuristic devices. So because <laughs> okay, this one looks a little janky, but um. Basically because um, I'm trying, uh, the last video that I made was doing Apple Fitness. I wanted to kind of make a thumbnail where I was like, I look super buff. <laughs> and <laughs> and I, I don't know, I thought this, it, it took a while to even get to here and it still is a little janky. So from here, I wanted to kind of stylize it. Like I felt like, oh, the face is kind of getting similar to what I look like. Not exactly, but I wanted to stylize it a little bit. So I, I wanted to make it have like this kind of painted, like illustrated, like digital art look. And uh, I combined a bunch of Loras together. Like it's a mixture of a bunch of Loras. One with like a 3D model. It like changes my face to a little bit to be a 3D model. And then like someone drew something. Anyways, it's a combination of Loras. And this is like the first one I was like, oh, this kind of looks like me. Obviously it is not me. Uh, but it's like, and it's stylized, and it's something that's like more unique, something that will catch people's eyes on YouTube. So I was like, okay, I like this. So I, I saved this style. Um, and then this is like going further into the painted look. But yeah, so the, I thought I was like, ah, oh, this is too far. So I kind of went back. So I, I was doing a lot of testing. 
And then at some point I was like, okay, I want to do some face swaps. Like I want to like take a reference image and see if I can make myself look, just replace my face. And there's better techniques for this, which I'm kind of learning about it um, right now. Uh, but this is just using image to image. <laughs> so, so let me show you a few really interesting stylized ones. <laughs> okay, so this one is like, I found a Laura where it was like um, a drawing, a court drawing. <laughs> so <laughs> it kind of drew me, it's hanky janky. Uh, and this one is like the 3D, it's like changing my face to 3D. So it's like a half blend of mine and then also 3D. It makes me look a lot younger. And this one is just like a scary face. And finally, this is kind of the general look that I thought uh, worked where it's, it's like slightly, you can obviously tell that it's not me, but it looks like me. Um, and it's stylized a little bit, but it also feels a little realistic. So it's like a, a small blend of 3D painted and like, I, I don't know. Um, I just, it just looked appealing to me and it made really good images. Yeah, and, and it feels like it could be good thumbnails. Like all of my, I don't know what my resting AI face is, but <laughs> I feel like it could be good thumbnails. I, I kind of retrained another model because this one was only making these faces. So I made a better, uh, I made another uh, model uh, that had a lot more reference images, but that one I'm still working on like and fine tuning the settings, um, at least the parameters to get images. But that one is definitely a lot more uh, flexible and I'll, I'll show you an image, image of that. But yeah, this one's like a clown nose. It's just like kind of endless. I could make like endless YouTube thumbnails like really quickly, no images, but also it's just fun. And, and this is kind of the overall look that I ended up like really liking and this image actually I put it everywhere in my socials and like <laughs> I put it into my work profile um, and everyone was asking me how I did this uh, but like this one definitely kind of like kind of kind of looks like me right but it's obviously better looking because uh, I got rid of a lot of imperfections and it's like painted a little bit and then this is the model that I was talking about where it's um, I retrained another model and it I before I was not able to get an image like this where I was crying or doing something more emotional because I only took like images like this like very still and for this one I try to do a lot of different images so I am able to do get images like that actually the shirt that it's coming out is the same shirt <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm able to get images like this, which is really like really important for like YouTube and like just just in general for the model to be flexible. But because it's more flexible, there's more artifacts and it, and sometimes it looks way like it doesn't look like me at all. So I'm trying to like fine tune that exactly. I might do another model where I give it like even more images. So I'm kind of like testing it, but yeah, it's it's super fun. I don't know. I, I just having I'm just having so much fun with this stuff. But yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. If you want a more detailed tutorial, um, there's a bunch of other places that have tutorials. For this video, it was just like, I just kind of wanted to show you how I'm using it and like kind of the journey of someone actually going through and trying to figure out how to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.